You're dating or in a serious relationship and you say, I love you, and she doesn't say it back. Or she doesn't say it back every time and she doesn't say it back with any level of consistency. What does that mean? Is that a red flag? Does that mean she doesn't really love you? That's what we're getting into today in this video, as well as what you should do about it if that's happening to you. Hi, I'm Jeff Campbell from divorcedparentsclub.com and I'm glad you're here with me. So, should the guy wait for his girl to say I love you the very first time it happens? And the answer is yes, you do generally want to wait for the woman to say it to you before you begin to say it. From that point forward, you don't have to wait for her every single time. It's okay for you to say that to her once it's been said the very first time. But that very first time, you want her to say it to you first. Why is that? Well, women take longer usually to kind of get to that stage where they actually are in love with you. Guys, we're very visual creatures. We're kind of simple creatures if I'm dumbing it down. We can often formulate very strong feelings very quickly for a woman. We begin planning out our future with them and kids' names and all that, you know, sometimes as quickly as the second or third date. And women just aren't like that. They take a lot longer to warm up to us and to connect with us and to feel safe with us in order to be able to say, I love you. And that takes longer for women. And so you do want to wait for her to say it to you first. Generally speaking, that will probably be somewhere around the two month mark once you've been dating. If she doesn't say it back to you when you say it to her, should you be worried? And if it's the first time you and you said it first, even though I just said that you probably shouldn't do that, I wouldn't be too concerned with that. You probably just jumped the gun and said it a little too early on. At that point, I would definitely wait though. Do not say it again until she says it to you and that could take a little while and in fact you saying it to her too early may have slowed down the pace at which things are going to progress and so you're just going to have to be patient and sometimes in the early stages of a relationship that's hard for us guys to do now if she does sometimes say it but doesn't always say it I wouldn't necessarily be concerned with that it could be that you're just saying it too often and it's feeling kind of robotic and not spontaneous enough to her in which case I would definitely slow it down and and more or less wait for her to say it most of the time. Don't be the one to always initiate it. It could be that her love language is not words of affirmation, which is one of the five love languages that there are out there. It could be that she just is used to showing love and expressing love in other ways. The other different love languages include acts of service. So maybe she does extra nice things for you. She buys you little things or always remembers how you like your coffee at Starbucks or things like that. If she's doing that, then that's her love language. Language, and that's okay. It's okay if her love language is not the same as yours. You just need to be able to see what her love languages are, and she could have more than one. And then you simply need to respect that that's how she is. That's how she expresses love, and that's totally okay. And you just need to appreciate her for that rather than expecting her to come around to your way of thinking. The other love languages, though, are gifts, which can tie in with the acts of service, but acts of service can be non-monetary things. Quality time is another one. So if she always wants to spend time with you doing really extraordinarily amazing things, not just sex and not just going out on dates, but doing other things where you're really connecting on a deep emotional level. Or the last love language is physical touch. Maybe she enjoys hugging, holding hands, kissing, being affectionate. I'm not necessarily talking about sex, although it's okay if sometimes those things do lead to sex. So why is it that women might not always say, I love you when you say it to them first. And it's because that women respond to things in terms of how it makes them feel. And that can change from moment to moment. You could have done amazing things yesterday that made her fall madly and passionately in love with you. And today you left the toilet seat up. You forgot to do the laundry. You didn't get that one thing on the grocery list that she asked you to pick up. And today, you know, she's hating your guts. And tomorrow could be a totally different story, but it's always about how she is feeling in that moment. And that can change from day to day. I live in Texas. It's just like the Texas weather. Just hold your breath and it'll change. But that's why it might be that she's totally madly in love with you one day and then kind of ambivalent seeming the next day. Also, as Coach Corey Wayne likes to say, women are kind of like cats and men are kind of like dogs. We're sitting there waiting to be pet and waiting to be thrown a bone. And women are like cats. They're kind of wandering around and, you know, they may come and sit in your lap and then they may get up and 
and go off and do something for a few hours and you don't see them for a while. And if you try and pick them up, they don't respond well to that and they jump and they run away. That's kind of the nature, that's kind of the feline nature, which is a feminine nature compared to a canine nature, which is more masculine. And we just have to understand and recognize those differences as guys. We need to not take things personally, as long as it's not always one way and never the other. There needs to be some balance for sure. You need to feel like you're getting your needs met, but it's okay if a woman vacillates a lot between how she feels about you. That is normal to a very large degree. Real quick before we keep going, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. It sends a great signal to YouTube and then they're going to show it to a lot more people. It's going to really help me grow my channel and I really appreciate your taking the time to do that. So for the very first time, how long should you wait for her to say, I love you? I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but let's talk about it in greater detail now. So a woman has to feel safe, heard, and understood in order to begin to fall in love with you. And typically, if you've been dating consistently, that's going to be somewhere around the two-month mark once you start dating. And that's assuming you're dating once a week minimally and conversing in between those dates, and maybe it's starting to escalate beyond once a week at that point, and she's really beginning to connect with you, feel safe with you, trust you, and she's beginning to fall in love with you somewhere around the eight week mark. I would say maximum 12 weeks. If she hasn't said it at the 12 week mark, then there's something wrong. She's not connecting with you. You're not making her feel safe, heard, and understood. Or maybe you're just not that compatible, but going out with you on nice dates is better than sitting around at home. And I know it sucks to hear that and to think that that might be a possibility with your relationship, but the reality is you don't want to spend time with someone who's just kind of ambivalent about you and doesn't passionately want to spend time with you. Never try and keep someone who doesn't want to keep you. But if it's been somewhere around the seven, eight week mark, that is about the right time for her to say it. And again, wait for her to say it at least the first time, and then you say it in response to that, assuming you actually feel that way. So if she doesn't say it, and you've said it and she doesn't say it back, and this has happened multiple times, you've been together at least eight weeks, if not longer, should you keep saying I love you to her if she never says it back? And the short answer is no. It's not masculine behavior to act that way, and it doesn't do anything to attract her more to you. It's not making you look good in her eyes. It's not increasing her attraction level, probably making you look a little bit pathetic. So at that point, I would not only cease saying it altogether, Together, I would probably pull back the reins on everything I was doing for her. It could be that you're smothering her. It could be you're inundating her with texts and phone calls and things like that. Maybe you're dumping on her too much emotionally and she's just not feeling it. So you need to pull back because ultimately you want her to miss you. You want her to wonder about you. And if you're overloading her, bombarding her with your presence, you're never giving her time to do those things. So it makes sense that maybe she's not falling in love with you if you never give her a chance to breathe. So pull back. If you're normally going out on dates once a week, maybe wait two weeks before you ask her the next time. If you normally are texting her multiple times a day, and if you're initiating those texts, stop doing that altogether. Wait for her to text you. Do respond when she texts you, but don't initiate any text. If that's new behavior for you, she's going to start to wonder, well, why is he not calling and texting as much as he used to? Is he losing interest? Has he found somebody else? She's going to begin to wonder those kinds of things and that wonderment is going to increase her attraction level for you and keep doing that until things kind of balance out but you always want her to do at least 70 percent of the conversation initiation in other words calling texting things like that you want her to do about 70 percent of that anyway even if you're years into a relationship it's not masculine behavior for you to constantly be seeming like you're seeking her attention and validation that's not masculine behavior that doesn't make you attractive to her but definitely do not keep keep saying I love you to someone who never says it back to you. That doesn't make you look good, doesn't make you more attractive in her eyes. Most likely you're over pursuing, in which case, like I said, you need to pull that back. But it could just be that you're not compatible, but going out with you on nice dates is better than sitting around at home, like I said earlier in the video. In which case, you may want to reevaluate whether this is the right person for you at all, and you may just want to call it off and find someone who actually really wants to spend time with you. Anyway, I hope this video helps you. I'll see you in the next video.